Dear students, in this video, we will learn about ASCII code. What is a ASCII code? What is the purpose of this ASCII code? Then we will learn about how to find the ASCII code for any given number. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So this is a standard code for the information interchange. In the third column, sixth column, ninth column, and twelfth column, we have the characters and their respective decimal and hex code are shown. We have some printable ASCII character and we have some non-printable ASCII characters. So first of all, we have this non-printable ASCII characters that is null, start of heading, okay end of text then we have suppose enter then we have escape okay like that we have the non-printable characters and we have some printable characters suppose the all the alphabets then we have the symbols various symbols so these are the printable characters so we have to find out the ascii code so ascii code is a seven bit code so first point is ascii code is a seven bit code Sometimes we add one extra bit to make one byte. Okay, that is the different case, but usually we use seven bits to denote a ASCII code. So here in this table, you can see we have the decimal, hexadecimal and the characters. So for decoding a given code, we need this ASCII table for finding out the respective characters. And the second point is we have how many characters? We have from zero up to 127 that means we have total of 128 characters 128 characters and we represent each code using 7 bit code word suppose we have one example the example is represent the decimal number suppose we have 171 that is a decimal number Suppose we have this question, we have to represent this number 171 in ASCII code. So now let us find out the ASCII code. You can see here that in case of this decimal numbers that is from 0 to 9, we have the hexadecimal equivalent is for 0 we have 30, for 1 we have 31, then for 2 we have 32, similarly for 9 we have 39. That means we have to add 30 with the given decimal digit so first of all we will find out the hexadecimal equivalent of this number that means we have to add 30 to each of the decimal digit so here we have to add 30 so here we'll have the hexadecimal number so here we'll have 31 this is 37 and this is 31 so this is the hexadecimal equivalent. Now we will convert this hexadecimal number into binary. So how we will convert? So each of these numbers, hexadecimal number, we will convert into 7-bit binary code. So 7-bit, the least significant 4-bit will be the least significant bit in this hexadecimal code. That means this one will be represented with 4 binary digit and this 3 will be represented by 3 binary digit. Similarly, this 7 will be represented by 4 binary digit and this 3 will be represented by 3 binary digit. So similarly, here also we will represent this 1 with 4 binary digit and this 3 will represent it with 3 binary digit. This 1 will be represented with 4 digit. So here we will have 0, 0, 0, 1. This is the 4 digit binary equivalent of this 1. Now let us represent this 3 in 3 bit binary equivalent. So 3 is 0 1 1 so that means for 31 that is for this one we have this ascii code 7 bit ascii code okay next we have 37 so 7 will be represented four digit okay that means 0 1 1 1 next we have this 3 3 means 0 1 1 okay so we have represented this 3 with three binary digit okay next we have again one so it will be zero 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 one this is four digit and the most significant bit will be represented with three binary digits so it will be zero one one so this will be the binary equivalent or the ascii code for this number therefore the ascii code for 171 is equal to zero one one zero 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 one 
0110111011010001 so this is the ascii code for this given 171 decimal number okay so in this way you have to find out the ascii code decode the ascii code given below suppose we are given with a ascii code and we have to decode it that means we have to find out the character which it represent okay suppose we have to decode this given ascii code okay this is the binary representation of this ascii code so what you have to do we know that in ascii code we have seven bit each so each character is contained with seven bits so first of all we have to group seven bit from the right hand side so here we have one two three four five six seven so this is one code next code is from here up to here next we have zero zero one this one code first of all we have grouped seven bit each okay so you can see that in each number we have 7 bit so it is very simple so first of all you convert into hex code so in this given table we have decimal number as well as hexadecimal number so my suggestion would be to convert into hexadecimal code so that will be easier for you okay so in case of hexadecimal conversion what we do we consider the four lowest significant bit as one most significant bit as the another digit so here we'll find out the hexadecimal number so here we'll write down the hexadecimal number this is 111 means it is 7 and this is 0011 this means 73 that means the rightmost code has a hexadecimal equivalent of 73 so here i have found out the respective hexadecimal equivalent of this binary number that means from this binary number i have found out the hexadecimal equivalent so what we have here this one is 100 zero, zero, that means it is 4 and 0111 one, one means it is 7 next we have this one is 1100 zero, zero means it is 8 plus 4 means it is 12 12 means it is c okay and this is 110 this is 6 6c okay so these are the that means respective hexadecimal numbers okay i have found out 60 for this number and for this binary code we have this is 6 and this is 9 69 this number is 442 this one is 110 means 6 so these are the respective hexadecimal number of this given binary code or the given ascii code we have this respective hexadecimal code now we have to see the ascii table and from that we'll find out the character so first of all we have 42 so 42 you have to see in the hex column so in the hexadecimal column 42 is capital b okay so you write here capital b this is capital b next we have 69 69 you have to see the hexadecimal column okay 69 is here okay 69 is this one so it is small i so you write here it is small i okay next we have 6c so for 6c we have here it is 6c 6c means it is small l small letter l so this one is small l then we have 47 47 47 is in this one this one we have to see the red color because these are these are the hex code in red so 47 is capital z so you have to write here capital z next we have 61 61 we have to see now 61 61 is this one okay and the respective character is small a this one is small a next we have 74 74 means in hexadecimal column we have to see so 74 74 is small t okay you write here small t next we have 65 65 is 65 in hexadecimal column you have to see this one is small e okay so this will be small e next we have 73 so you see the table in hex column 73 73 means this is small s okay so here we'll have small s now if we combine these words we'll have 
B I L Z A T E S. Here keep in mind that we do not have a space in between. This is a single word. Okay, because we are not given a space. In this way, you can decode any ASCII code into their respective characters. So the characters are so in this way you can find out the respective ASCII code from a given number or given group of characters and on the other hand you can find out or you can decode the given ASCII code to their respective characters suppose we have another number given suppose one one zero one zero one one this is one number point one zero zero one zero one suppose this is the number given we have a fractional part also now in this case what you have to do you can see that here in this side we have seven bit but in the right hand side we have six bit so in the right hand side you have to add one zero so this zero will be added to the right of the all the digit thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you